My name is Chris Trinasti, and I'm the chair of classics here at Oberlin College. And I wanted to talk today about one of my favorite paintings at the Allen Memorial Art Museum. This is the painting Cadmus and the Dragon from 1813 by the British painter John Martin. Uh, it's oil on canvas, um, and it shows in the lower left-hand corner a uh, Cadmus, who's the founder of the city of Thebes, uh, defeating this uh, dragon. Uh, that was guarding, if you will, the site of Thebes. He had sent out some men previously, and you see their bodies littering the ground. When they did not come back, they were searching for water. Uh, Cadmus went out on his own and defeated this dragon. Uh, what I like about this painting is the fact that the actual uh, subject of Cadmus and the dragon is really relegated to that lower left-hand corner and you see much more of the landscape itself uh, in the rest of the painting. Um, this would be the landscape around Thebes. So in the background is Mount Cathiron, uh, the mountain where someone like Oedipus uh, was exposed as a child, or where the Bacchae will rip apart Pentheus as well. The history of Thebes is a tragic history in many ways. Um, and when authors grapple with what happened in Thebes, uh, they really grapple with a lot of these larger than life characters uh, who come to particularly gruesome ends. Um, as such, Thebes is really an anti-Athens or possibly sometimes a stand-in for Rome, uh, for, for Latin authors, um, a stand-in for Rome, especially because of Thebes' history of civil war, uh, which the Romans struggled with, especially in the first and second centuries uh, BCE. Uh, Cadmus, uh, of course, was coming to Greece looking for his sister Europa. Um, and so in some ways we have this sense of, of, of European colonization as well, and some of the problematics about that. When I think about eco-criticism, I think about slaying uh, this particular dragon. Um, I think about this as being uh, problematic for the environment from this point forward, uh, where you're getting rid of native creatures um, and, um, and, and causing real damage. Uh, in Greece, uh, it's a karstic environment, so a lot of limestone caves. Um, so you did have caves like this, oftentimes with underground waters or rivers that disappeared into the caves, um, and that led them the Greeks and the Romans to a certain degree uh, to think about their underworld as being sort of watery and, uh, and, and full of caverns, um, but also almost a, uh, almost a living space, right? Sort of space um, that could have this sort of life. So this particular painting evokes a lot of, uh, of memories, if you will, about the ancient world um, and about the particular place of Thebes. Uh, the city that will spring um, from these, this dragon's death. Um, its teeth are used um, and are sewn into the ground and create the first generation of Thebans. Um, so you see a lot of emphasis on the teeth there in the painting. Um, as you know, this is um, a, a group of spartoi, of sewn men um, that come from violence and oftentimes lead to more violence. Um, it's a fabulous painting. I encourage everyone to go to the Allen Memorial Art Museum on the campus of Oberlin College uh, to check it out. Thank you.